je pense que le régime des Mollahs est très fragile, très fragile comme avant. Et nous sommes très optimistes pour continuer les soulèvements en Iran. Et aussi, je pense que c'est nécessaire pour le peuple iranien la protection des résidents d'Ashraf parce qu'ils sont le symbole de persévérance, de l'espoir, de tonacité et euh, il faut protéger les résidents d'Ashraf pour continuer le soulèvement en Iran. Excusez-nous, c'est fini. The terrorist organization that the United States should be worried about is Iran, not the MEK. I mean, Iran, when I think of Iran, I think of Hamas and Hezbollah and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. I think about their advance to as a, a nuclear state. The reason that the MEK is such a thorn in their side uh, is simply because uh, they are looking to, uh, uh, to, 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 to lead a different Iran a peaceful Iran, a tolerant Iran, a, a non-nuclear Iran. And it's for that reason that I'm here in strong support with a lot of other people and have been for the past couple of years, Republicans and Democrats, liberals and conservatives in the United States and elsewhere to delist the MEK and then protect the inhabitants as we find uh, safer havens for them to live and raise their families and at one time, hopefully, uh, to replace the tyrannical regime in Tehran. We also know that the United States promised to protect the people of the MEK that are in Camp Ashraf. And I hope that the United States government will keep that commitment, and I hope that they will recognize that they are allies in the war on terror, and that they are not a terrorist group, and they should be delisted from the terrorist group in the United States, and enjoy the full support of the United States as they become an example for democracy in Iraq, and a better democracy for people inside Iran.